overflows orgasm and meditation the difference is that the sexual orgasm is very momentary although while it is there it looks almost eternal that feeling is just because of its depth but through meditation you can have it as long as you want because meditation is not dependent on anybody else the woman or man or a certain state of two minds a certain rhythm of two energies the sexual orgasm depends on many things and particularly on the other person being there meditation is independent of any other person only you are to create the situation what is orgasm in reference to meditation and higher levels of consciousness the orgasmic feeling in a deep state of meditation is totally non sexual you will realize or you may have already realized that journey of orgasm begins through male female relation this is dependence then one day this dependence on the other finishes you come to realize each orgasm is independent and non sexual as journey continues feeling of orgasm surrounds you all the time this there is unexplainable fulfillment and a deep feeling of ecstasy both within and without the feeling of orgasm is temporal through sex in meditation it deepens and beyond meditation it continues each moment and you live in such a state of ecstasy know this life of bliss beyond duality that i have spoken many times such is the state of an awakened one and for you it is just a glimpse now the experience of orgasm itself is always non sexual even though you have achieved it through sex however it itself has no sexuality in it journey of orgasm begins through sex at physical plane however orgasm is totally non sexual you can reach to orgasm through sex it is the merger of negative and positive polarities such a deep merger that man is no longer a man and woman is no longer woman they are not two instead there is only one energy surrounding them both they have melted into that energy it may be for a moment it does not matter but the experience itself has nothing to do with sex the first orgasm is bound to be attained through sex i my own understanding is that meditation has grown out of the experience of orgasm because the original founders particularly shiva who in vigyan bhairav tantra spoke just like a scientist giving scientific formula as 112 meditation techniques each meditation just in one or two lines the man is tremendously aphoristic those 112 techniques or sutras are just like sutras he has condensed everything 
about the method in them. He is also known as a great lover. Perhaps he is the first man to discover meditation and it can be very scientifically assumed that whosoever experienced orgasm, if he had a little intelligence, would have seen that although it has come through sex, it itself is a non-sexual experience. This gives the insight that there may be possibilities of reaching it through non-sexual means as well, because it is not sexual itself. So sexuality is not necessarily the only way. It does not need much intelligence if you experience it and see clearly that it does not have any impact of sexuality. Perhaps sexuality created the background, the groundwork in which it happened. But experience of orgasm itself does not remind you of sex. It is purely spiritual. Whoever experienced this must have concluded then that there can be other ways to reach it because sex is not necessarily part of it. There is no color or any impression of sex left in it. Then he must have watched how it happens and then things were very clear the moment the orgasm happens, time stops, you forget about time, your mind stops, you do not think anymore. There is tremendous calmness and a great awareness surrounds. You are not asleep. You have not fallen into any hypnotic sleep. Everything is crystal clear. The mind is no more functioning the way it functions continuously. The thought process has stopped. The sense of time is not there. It seems timeless. Afterwards you will think it lasted only a few seconds, but that is afterwards. Such is the experience of meditation. However, in the experience itself, it is, it seems, it is eternity. And you are fully aware, as aware as you have ever been wide awake. Any observer going through the experience will naturally think, if these things can be managed without sex, awareness, thoughtlessness, timelessness, you will reach to the orgasmic state by passing sexuality. This is my understanding and that of the awakened ones. This is how man must have first discovered meditation. Otherwise, meditation is not something biological or natural so that in the course of time you have to discover it. But biology has given you an experience and if you try to understand it, you are bound to search for other methods to make it possible. You know it has happened that there is, there was no thought, no time and only pure awareness so it is possible. You are not groping in the dark. You are not just guessing. Instead, you know it is possible. You have known it through the biological route. Then, if these three things can be maintained without sex, the orgasm happens. And the difference is that Sexual orgasm is very momentary 
although while it is there, it looks almost eternal. That feeling is just because of its depth. But through meditation, you can have it for as long as you want. Because meditation is not dependent on anybody else. The woman or the man or certain state of two minds, a certain rhythm of two energies. The sexual orgasm depends on many things and particularly on the other person being there. Meditation is independent of any other person. Only you are to create the situation. And naturally, the conclusion will be to start with awareness because you do not know how else to stop the thought process. It is not in your hands to stop thoughts or to stop time. Only one thing remains and that is awareness. That you can be more aware or less aware. You know it. If the house is suddenly on fire, you will be more aware. If you know that your awareness goes up and down at certain moments you are more aware, at certain other moments less aware. So it is possible to create the situation of being more aware. That is why awareness becomes the basis of meditation. And with awareness came the surprise that as you become aware, thoughts disappear. You enter the realm of timelessness. When you are fully aware, there is no thought. And suddenly, time too has stopped. This is a moment of bliss. This is the moment of life beyond duality that I have spoken several times to you before. Suddenly the time has stopped. There are no more thoughts and you are fully aware enough for that.